Hi, YouTubers! It's Evan in the next video. It's going to be an important topic right now, so uh, I want to do a tobacco related topic right now. So uh, I realized I don't do enough tobacco related topics, so I thought I'd do a tobacco related topic right now. Even though tobacco, today is not Tobacco Tuesday, so uh, I realize today is uh, Wednesday, but I want to do a tobacco related topic right now. Enough rambling. So uh, I want to talk about this as a health related topic, just FYI. It's basically why do people get a morning cough? So some people, <clears throat> myself included, do get a little bit of a morning cough, a morning tickle in the morning from uh, smoking cigars and pipes, and also from smoking cigarettes or hookah or whatever you smoke. So uh, regardless of where you smoke, you do get a um, uh, slight tickle in your throat or morning cough. It can range from a very slight tickle in your throat to a very uh, strong morning cough in the morning. So pick a cigar of life. I want to discuss, um, I'm not a doctor obviously, I'm not giving you medical advice, but I want to discuss why do people get a morning cough. And the reason people get a morning cough is most likely or you get irritation in the back of your throat or you get uh, mucus in your nose or snot in your nose, a big ass cigar for life, <laughs> big ass boogers for life. Uh, the reason why people get that is because it is things settling your respiratory tract. So from my understanding, I'm not a doctor obviously, but uh, from my understanding, your uh, respiratory system, when you lie on your back especially, depending how you sleep, whether you're sleeping on your back, whether you're sleeping <clears throat> on your side, whether you're sleeping on your stomach, um, the stuff in your uh, respiratory tract that you might accidentally inhale. So even with cigar and pipe smokers who obviously don't inhale, uh, you do get a little bit of the uh, smoke down your throat, to your trachea, into your lungs, and that does cause a little bit of irritation and cough. So depending how you sleep, you do get a little bit of the smoke in your uh, lungs, and when you wake up, as I would say, especially in the first, you know, two or three hours when you wake up, uh, that stuff is settling in your respiratory tract, so that's why you do get a little bit of irritation, hoarseness, and a little bit of a cough. So that's the reason why, if you're wondering. And really, it's not, there's not much you can do about it. One uh, thing I found out that helps is definitely cutting back on smoking. So if you're smoking nice big-ass cigars, big-ass pipes, definitely cutting back on smoking. If you're smoking like three, four, five times a day, cutting back to one or two times a day or once every other day might might help. I mean, the less you smoke, the better. I mean, honestly, the less you smoke, the healthier you're going to be. So, obviously, if you're somebody who's a chain cigar and pipe smoker who's smoking, you know, six, seven, eight bowls a day or ten cigars a day, then you are going to have some degree of a cough because even if you're not inhaling directly, if you're just puffing, you are obviously inhaling some degree of the smoke into your lungs. And that's going to definitely, you know, I mean, the the amount of smoke you're producing is going to cause some kind of cough and irritation. On the other hand, if you're somebody who's a moderate pipe and cigar smoker, somebody who's smoking maybe two pipes a day, maybe one pipe a day, maybe one cigar a day, then you might get some degree of irritation in the morning, but not as much. Obviously, it's really the same thing as losing weight. Obviously, the more you eat, the more weight you gain. The less you eat, the less weight you gain, the more weight you lose. So it's basically a numbers game. So. I smoke typically when I'm at my apartment. I smoke two pipes a day and one cigar. When I'm at home, my parents, because my parents, I typically smoke um, one pipe and one cigar. So I do in moderation. I keep it to moderation. I don't inhale, obviously. I do smoke my pipe too fast. That's probably something that does contribute to my morning cough, is I do smoke my pipe too fast. I am kind of in a hurry in the morning. I don't have time to sit out for like an hour or so and smoke a pipe. So that is something that does contribute to smoking too fast. <clears throat> I brought this up maybe last year or so, the year before, about a gag, re <clears throat> a gag reflex from smoking, and um, that can cause definitely irritation to your um, voice box and also your esophagus when you smoke too fast. So definitely smoking slower, taking smaller puffs, also packing looser so you're not, you know, dragging as much in the pipe. So big ass pipe, big ass pipe for life. And that's really what you can do about it is smoking less, obviously not inhaling. If you do inhale, don't inhale. So, and obviously smoking in a ventilated space. If you're smoking inside where it's, you know, non-ventilated, then obviously that's bad. Obviously, you know, taking breaks in between, you know, setting the pipe down or cigar down, so, and just doing it in moderation. Cigarette smoking is a whole different ballgame. Anyway, your thoughts, bye. Big ass cigar for life, big ass cough for life, bye.